Had to make the image levitate to keep them entertained I might shoot my shot at LMA Oh, y'all thought this was a joke I did not follow directions I made it on my own How does Fire Rescue get all the best toys? Here we go, at the top of the class on the road And it's time to run it up, yeah you know Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor Ay, On the road, here we go, here we go Day three here at Lightning and the car is getting worked on and everything's starting to come together. So the first day, well, if we call it a day, I showed up a little late. What up, Chris? Right on time. What, what? Five o'clock. <laughs> that was a shorter day. Second day, that we're wiring everything out here, getting everything set up and prepping everything. Third day, running all the wires through the car. And I think today you're gonna be about 90% done. Looking good so far. And I can tell you something, these guys are on point. They haven't stopped working since I got here. So shout out to everyone at Lightning. Solid job, professional, friendly, and they're doing great work. Chris, how are you doing? All right, you got a second? I got a second. Look, Casey did an amazing job of the process of putting this stuff together, but what's going in the car? Look, well, yeah, let's talk about equipment. You so talk uh, about it? Been working on a special project here. This is uh, one of one. One of one, ladies so, and gents. Uh, one of one. It's been a minute since we've made some uh, Crown Vic light bars, uh -huh. but we wanted to bring it up to today's technology. So I've been working on that. So we've got some custom inner edges for the front. Our inner edges are our interior light bars. Right. But uh, we've modified them, so now they'll do some of the new technology. It's been a while since these have really worked hard, and uh, today they've worked really hard. I saw you putting in work over there. I was. All I right. Was. So now we got over here, which the equipment. This is the brains of the operation. Brains. So our Simcom core is going to be our uh, siren and uh, light controller. We've got a couple of those. Uh, you know, we're talking about the two speakers on the front push bumper. Yeah. These two amplifiers mm -hmm. uh, are also going to power those. And then uh, we're throwing a little wheeling cloud in there as well. We'll talk Ooh. about that later. This obviously is very intricate stuff. So look forward to many more videos where we probably run down things individually because there's a lot going on and this would be like an hour and a half long video. Yeah. Which everyone in the comments is probably like, let it go, bro. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let we'll it ride. do it. We can do an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be, this is being custom, right? Because I think there was some lights going on. And then tell us about the, the lights that you're going to put on the yeah, top Yeah, we there. wanted to make sure yeah. you had the best light bar and the most latest and greatest. So we, we pulled that out of the, uh, what do you the guys think? to put in there. <laughs> All right, so we're in the middle of figuring out what's in the trunk lighting. So trying to get the best lighting right now. I already got one lighted up on top. It'll shine straight down on whatever's in the middle. And then I will get some side lights here. All right, so what's in the police trunk? Customized brackets going in. Yeah, so there's a slit here. So that's actually gonna mount to the metal. Oh yeah. And you'll have your light there. Nice. So we can make it one for each side. Is it time? Is it time? It ain't time, man. Oh. I'm just testing it out okay. right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can somebody please explain to me, how does Fire Rescue get all the best toys? Maybe I should do like a fire trucks on the back. Check this thing out.
day four, but it's really like 3.25 because I got here late. So this is it, this is the final day. Looking at the guys working on the car. You see one, two, three, four, sometimes five uh, technicians working on the car. Imagine a fleet of 100 police cars and everything. So it's a lot of work that goes into lining these cars up with the wires and mounting things and taking it apart, putting it back together. There's just a lot of work involved and really gives you a good appreciation of when you're driving around these cars and you just flip a switch and lights go on. You don't realize all this stuff that's happening behind the scenes. So kudos to these guys. These guys are knocking out of the park. New appreciation, met a, uh, met a lot of new friends here and uh, happy to be a part of this process. What's it like to have an order or something? Because I know you, you've done this in the past. I have. To like a hundred car shipment. Like how long does something like that take? Builds will, will vary, but when you have a repetitive amount of the exact same car, uh, you usually will pick up the pace a little because you now know where things are, you know where wires are, you know how you're gonna mount things. It's, it's kind of just a repetitive nature. So it gets faster as you go along. Uh, this is a little different. This is, you know, a 09 Crown Vic. Yeah. It's been a minute since uh, these guys have worked on it or even I've worked on it. Yeah. Um, so a lot of things, we're still hunting and pecking and finding things and, and uh, custom fitting where, where things are gonna go. So it takes a little bit extra time on something like this, kind of a, we'll call this a one-off. A one-off. Uh, and then I could imagine because I've seen some of the equipment going in, that that stuff wasn't around. That is correct. Back then. When a Crown Vic was uh, was out on the road and getting built, the, the technology was older, it was a little bit easier to install. Yeah. Uh, so this is a much newer tech that we're putting in here. So uh, there's a lot more signals that we're wanting to get from the car. And uh, with a newer vehicle, we can get that kind of uh, signal, but on the Crown Vic, it's, uh, it's a little bit outside that realm. So we're going in and kind of hunting and pecking for some of those signals. So that those little bit of hunting and pecking, that's kind of just, it just a bit, a bit. everything might take 10 minutes extra and right. so when you start doing four five six seven things and each one takes 10 minutes extra it's going to add a little bit of time at the end of the end of the day so if you let's say you're gripping and ripping on uh i don't know the new ford explorers out there what do you think that build might take you know, uh, a couple guys working on it i would say a typical build of a new newer patrol vehicle uh you know like a dodge charger will be a little bit easier something kind of more more like the Crown Vic. Yeah. Um, you know, you put three or four guys on it. Sometimes you can get a car like that done in about a day. Oh, okay. uh, you get into the SUVs, that may take two or three days, maybe a little bit longer, depending on the build. Makes sense. I just wanted to clear that up because I was like, man, what do they do with like a 300 car yeah. order? But uh, it's a little bit faster. Being, a little bit faster. Being that it's like, okay, we know this, this, this goes here, this goes here. This is like uh, trying to figure out what's. Correct. Lots of planning in the middle of it. All right. happening is this is the center console it's working on the center console but these are Vic parts so they're kind of hard to come by yeah so he's are. kind of doing the masterpiece like Frankenstein center console yeah. got like three consoles apart for one yeah so it's taking three of these bad boys to make one so special and this would be for like if I wanted to have a Motorola or some radio system in here. Yeah, we're trying to put, put it in USB so you can charge your phone. And everything, Ooh. So. Just trying to find a Crown Vic with USB so you can charge your phone. <laughs> I dare you. Now, in the original Crown Vic days, they would have been like, man, that guy smokes a lot because those are like cigarette lighters. But now they're going to be USBs. Sit in there, see. Tell me to sit in, to see if this arm. All right, let's see. It's not bolted in, bolted okay. in, so be careful. Yeah, I think this is. I think that's good. How's that? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's good. That's in a good spot? Yeah. What's that? That's uh, That was your spotlight. Oh my god. So you got your no, money's worth. No wonder why it didn't work. What's that? This is the new spot. Ah. Old? New? Tetanus? No tetanus. Uh huh. Ooh, we gotta check the, uh, check your connections. It's in there. It's, it's in a there. little less rusty than the last one. <laughs> I think a lot less rusty. <laughs> We're upgrading yeah. from an analog uh -huh. halogen. Uh huh. 
spotlight yeah. to a more digital LED spotlight. From a, from an antique yes, relic antique. to... A little more newer. Not the newest. Not the newest. But a little more newer. Way more. All right. Old headlights. New headlights. Ross well, came up with a good idea. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, how's that for a lens filter? A serious case of cataracts. Four. Look at that. Look at that. So much customization that's going into this. And if I would have tried to attempt to do something like this, the next video that would have came out would have probably been like 2023, 2024. There's no way I'm able to do all this stuff. There would have been a lot of duct tape and zip ties and the uh, first speed bump I hit would just fall apart. Mike was telling me, put that in for a purpose. Quick disconnect, right? Yep. Quick disconnect so you can pull the front push bumper off in case you have to service the front end of the vehicle. Yeah, so no cutting. No cutting required. No cutting. What happens if I cut? Bad stuff. Bad stuff, okay. <laughs> I guess you guys could say it's coming down to the wire. <laughs> wire. <laughs> Last two. Check this out. I love this magnet there to keep everything in order. Love it, babe. Oh, they caught me. Get this here. Oh. 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 Shit. You were in that trunk for like three days. I told you somebody's gonna be living in there. I know it's gonna be me. Three days. I get attachment sometimes to my projects mm -hmm. that I do. How does it feel when you're done with that? Put all the work in the car. Like, it hurts. It, it hurts. hurts a little bit, but yeah. I don't know. You're still proud of to see all the, the different vehicles out there and, and know that you did that. It's it's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going through, it's basically a network. Yeah. So I'm going through and telling all the devices who they are and what they do. And so we're working through that. So you'll see some odd things around the car, but in a couple minutes, we'll be rocking and rolling. So by network, you mean there's uh, like trunk, inner, under the hood is all independent of itself? All independent devices. Uh -huh. We have to assign them and tell them, this is the front inner edge, this is the rear inner edge. Once we tell them who they are, it all works just fine. I feel bad because like it was like six, seven people working on the car and I didn't bring that much swag. So I gotta go back to my boys at Fed's Apparel, see Randall, and uh, get some more swag to send over to the guys. So I'm gonna put these out, see who wants what, just to thank them for all the hard work and send them some more stuff later on. Look, I don't have, I didn't bring enough for everybody, but just the guys that worked out so far, but I'm, I'm gonna send some more for you guys. So I don't know if you want hats or a shirt or hats or something. Thank you guys for all your hard work. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. Thank absolutely. you so much. It was no problem, man. a pleasure meeting you. Appreciate it. Thank you and, I, Thank and I'll be you. back for sure. I, have, I, I, I ran out, I don't have anything for you. Well, we got something for you. What? <laughs> I, I still want to get you a, uh, Ooh. An official LFS t-shirt yes, and an LWS hat. Yes. So. I'm, I'm, can I put it on now? Absolutely. Oh, stand by, guys. Stand by.
Diaphragm looks good, guys. Diaphragm looks good. What's up? What do you think? Yeah. What's it? All right, so the final, 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 final stages. However, it's almost an hour past the end of the shift. So we got Casey, Mike, and Krista still here uh, uh, putting in that little extra effort. So it is Friday. I have to leave and go back home. We'll be taking this bad boy back home. So. The light show, probably not gonna get to it in this video. However, stay tuned because shortly after, there's gonna be a dedicated video for Digital Light Show and an in-depth rundown of how all the lights work and everything in there of what's going on. But before we do that, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of the car from head to toe. And Chris is gonna help me out and explain everything of what was put in there. Not how it works, that's coming up soon, but at least we get a look, a first look at everything that's in there. So let's go. Whoa. Whoa, cuz. Hey, that's just a, that looks like a dragon. That looks like a, a fire breather. Sick light show with this. That was got to be the coolest Crown Vic that was ever built. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to it's time. run us down. All right, you said you wanted a slick top package. We wanted to stay low key right now. That's right, so right now. We got works. new front push bumper, uh -huh. ions, Pioneer spotlights, dual speakers with dual tone capability. Nice. We've got howlers behind the bumper. Woo! New spotlight to replace your uh, Rust Bucket 2000. <laughs> got custom inner edges, Weekanx inner edges. Nice. Just for you. New console, control head, PA mic, Coming in the back, we got more ions in the back window. New custom inner edge in the back window. And some vertexes hit away in the back. Uh -huh. Got your radio antenna back here. Got your wheel and cloud platform antenna back there. Yeah. Let's show the magic. Just a, just a preview. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Whoa. Syncom core, main brain of the system. Got your dual amplifiers controlling the speakers and the wheel and cloud platform VSG over here in the corner. Uh -huh. Casey did a nice custom background light for you. Yeah. 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 There you go. So what do you think, Nick? I love it. Did we do okay? Uh, no, more than okay. And then, and then, so these lights, I told you, so I'm doing reviews right out of the trunk. I said I need some lights for the trunk and there you go. And then on, this, on the other side, Duplicate. Duplicate. We did the same thing on both sides. What? Made it identical. What? Identical. <laughs> identical. Identical. <laughs> My cousin Vinny. That's right. Identical. Identical. <laughs> oh man, you guys, you guys, you guys knocked, knocked it out, it of, out the of the park. park. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Nazca, nice what do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. I mean, the before. And then the after. So, like I said before, we are going to run this down piece by piece, show you every little thing that it can do with the help of some special guest returning. That being said, why don't we cut to the special sign off that we did? What do you say? Yeah, let's do that. Cutting now. Oh! It's Friday, people! Ready? I'll see you when I see you. Casey, what's the uh, firefighter's favorite rap song? I've got hose. Casey, 
What do cops and firemen have in common? What? They both want to be firemen. <laughs>